All right, hello, boys and girls. Somebody asked, <laughs> I have a tendency to ramble. I guess you probably noticed that if you pay any attention to my channel at all. Somebody asked, you know, could you summarize how to use your script and install Pillow? Well, you know, it isn't a simple, straightforward process, but it's not a hard process. So bear with me. If I ramble, I ramble. We'll, we're going to do something real quick, though. We'll see if we how quick we can do this for the modern day. So here's Daz. I'm going to, this is a, a uh, file over here. I'm going to put a, a blaster, a sci-fi blaster over here. There it is. It's way down there. A little teeny tiny sci-fi blaster. There it is. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to export this so that I'm going to bring this into Character Creator. Export, and we'll call it SF Blaster. There we go. And you've been through this process before. I'm not going to go through this process. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to save this file. You can. The reason we do it this way is you can control where you're saving this file. You could actually use my script and go back to where you actually downloaded this, but it's not easy sometimes, particularly if you put on clothes and have an avatar and have a whole bunch of things in the scene. So the easiest thing is just to come up here and save the file. Just save it as a scene. And I'm going to save it right in the same place that I have the FBX. That way I know it right where it is. So I don't need to dig through and find all these other things. So that's all. So we're all done with DAS. We don't need that anymore. So now we go to where I exported this. And before we do all this, though, let's talk about installing Pillow, which is what you need to run my script. So if you look back at this uh, routine that I wrote, I'm going to play a little bit of this because... This is much the same thing. First thing this says it talks about, we play it here. I'm going to, oops, let's turn off the sound over here so you don't hear it. There we go. All right, you should just be hearing me. So basically, this is my routine. You can look up my YouTube file folder for how to install iCloud and Python install libraries. So it's going to go through the thing. What it's going to say is first thing you have to do is go to environmental variables and edit your path. Okay, you with me so far? I wanted to show you my path here because that's, Nowadays, that's the uh, the new path so that you'll need. So if we go here, and this is my uh, path. You'll see I have program files, real illusion. Yours can differ. Your your it may be stored differently. So you have to put whatever the path is for iClone eight bin sixty four. Okay, same thing here. Another path, program files, real illusion, character creator four bin 64. So those those you have to edit that to add those environmental variables in there. And once you've done that, you've edited that path. That's part of the path. I can't help you any further with that. If you don't understand how to edit paths, then I would suggest you uh, look it up, Google it. I'm sure you can find it. So you have to have those paths. Or, or if you only want to run my program in iClone 8, that's fine. Or Character Creator, either way. But you have to have one of those paths in there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'll cut this part out. All right, so you have to make sure that your path to uh, in this particular case, like I say, it's character creator py. Otherwise, it's iClone uh, py. I'm not quite sure why my path isn't recognized here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because, again, I'm trying to do this quick and not digress, as some people say. Okay, but again, watch this video. It'll show you. So you're in the Python here. That's fine. And then it'll show you. It'll, we'll just keep moving along here. It's going to say... Uh, how to install pip and what you do is once you're once you've got admin privileges let's see if I go back to pip here where is it here uh, 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 there okay uh, collected package pip you have to install there it is get pip so you have to be in real illusion iclone and this is either eight or character creator remember you got to do it in both places if you want a character creator for bin 64 in the scripts directory, and then you're going to put in Python and then a for, uh, backslash and then git hyphen pip.py. And you got to put all this in quotes because you have spaces in here. So once again, I don't know how to make this any clearer. You have to follow your path that gets you to the bin 64, either in iClone 8 or in Character Creator 4, and then go to the scripts directory. Have that. All, you can type it all in at once, or you can just do it one at a time in the pips. But if you type this entire line but put the right instructions in here, iClone 8, or character creator four, and then say git hyphen pip py. It'll run. It'll install the Python installation package. And again, you can watch this video that explains the details. Once that's installed, then the installing pillow is simple. You go iclone py or again character creator py minus m pip install, and in this case, you'd just say pillow. If you do all those things just like that, again. <sighs> You're going to be in this directory, in this directory all the way down, real illusion, iClone 8, 
or Character Creator 4, Bin64, Scripps, Python, iClone, PY, minus M, pip, install, pillow. And that will install pillow. That's all there is to it. So if, as long as you're an administrator and all this. So, okay, now that we've installed pillow, to use my script is really simple. First of all, you're just going to bring over that uh, FBX file. Remember, we exported that, that blaster over here. Just drop it in here. It's going to be a prop in this case, or if it's a character, you can say character in the other case. And there we go. We have a prop right there. And then with it selected, you have to have it selected. I like to go to the council log. If you want to know where the council log is, it's up here. You can say council log, and it comes up. You don't have to have this, but it gives you some feedback on what's happening. And then you go to load Python. You choose my script. And remember, you can download my script lots of different places. I'm not going to put a link here. Just go back and look at the many different places I've, I've put it in. Uh, choose my script, and then you're going to choose that duff file. Remember that the file that we, we saved out. In this particular case, it was called SF Blaster. You're going to choose that, and then it's going to go through and find all the textures. And here, it, it only had five maps, but you know, but you can see what how, how what a difference that made in just loading those five maps in. All of a sudden, it's got a lot more uh, texture to it. So, hopefully, that tells you it's real simple stuff. Again, if you if you get confused, if there's something that isn't working for you, put it in the comments below or write to me, Mike at Kellytown.com. That's K-E-L-L-E-Y. I will always, always answer. If you don't hear from me within that day, then something's going on wrong. So uh, see you on the forums.